All right, so hello everyone, Fudgy here, and welcome back to another Tiny Town VR video. Welcome to the zombie apocalypse. So in this Tiny Town video, what I'm going to be doing is making a farm zombie apocalypse. Now, I know we've done this before. We've done it over here. Now, we did this quite a long time ago, but I want to redo it and do it better. This time, we're going to have more zombies, more chaos, more destruction, and it should look awesome. Now, it's not going to be as big as this farm here. What I want to do is kind of focus on more of like one section or like one house where the farmers are defending that one house. A bit like this part here, but it's going to be a bit more epic, I guess. So, yeah, but uh, I'm pretty excited for this. I mean, this farm looks awesome as it is. I've already made a start on where I want this farm to be, as you can see over here. Now, this is a little bit inspired by The Walking Dead with the farm scene. I won't say too much about it, but... Yes, that's what I kind of want to go for today. <laughs> so as you can see, I've built uh, from the safe zone a little dirt track, which has got some uh, defenses there. And this is where we're actually going to build the farm. So it's pretty closed off. It's right next to the lab where the zombie outbreak uh, all started. So if you want to check that out, the build, uh, I'll leave a link for the playlist in the description below so you can check out all the other videos I've done. All right, so let's go to farm. And the first thing we're going to do is actually get a farmhouse. So the one I'm going to go for is probably this one here. Yes. And we're going to have it probably just like that. Maybe if we put it snap to uh, 45 degrees, that might look pretty good. There we go. So that's going to be the main main farmhouse right there. That looks pretty cool. It'll be really creepy because we're going to have zombies coming out of the forest. It's going to look absolutely awesome. Let's just change these trees up a bit because obviously I did duplicate them. And they're all a little bit, you know, this like the same kind of pattern. Looks a bit strange. So let's go through that. There we go. All right, let's carry on adding. Maybe we'll have the little windmill. Maybe reduce it down to size a little bit. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and add all the farm stuff we need. Oh, our house. Yes, we can have someone on the toilet. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. And then have like a zombie grabbing him or something. But yeah, guys, I'm really excited for this video. The zombies, they're going to be everywhere. It's going to look absolutely awesome. I cannot wait. It's going to be great. All right, let's move this over a little bit. So like I said, it is a small farm. We're just going to concentrate on like one section. Let's have a barn as well. I don't know where we're going to put the barn. Maybe we can have the barn in here if we remove the trees. Goodbye, trees! You will be missed. And then the barn can go like that. It looks pretty good. I like that. All right, there we go. The farm is looking pretty good. Now, I'm going to add a fence going all the way around, I reckon. Well, maybe not all the way around, but just up to the, the forest part here. There we go. This is now acting as a bit of a zombie defense. Although, originally, it was just to keep the animals in. Now, it's to try and keep the zombies out. But, of course... They're already in, so yeah. Oh, this farm already looks pretty cool. I'm actually really liking this so far. <laughs> so let's just keep going. We'll keep making it awesome. Uh, we could have a little ranch thing there, but I don't know if I like that too much. We could probably have that more down this way if we want to. Might have to add some more trees and things like that. All right, check it out so far. The farm is looking pretty cool. I'm going to keep adding detail, and then we'll be able to get to the chaos, the destruction, the zombies. It's going to be absolutely hectic at this farm, especially since it's right next to where the zombie outbreak happened. So it's going to be crazy. So we're going to have some farmers, of course, defending the house. Uh, let's see. We can have like them with shotguns and all sorts. And we're also going to have some maybe chickens on the run or something and some horses. I don't know. Maybe the horses are trying to run away. Look at this. We could even have some uh, zombie animals would be pretty interesting, I'd say. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe I'll add that in. Who knows? All right. You know what? Let's work on our first character here. This guy, he's going to have, I think, a shotgun would be pretty cool. So the zombies are coming. He's defending his home. He has to do all he can to make sure it's okay. All right. So let's put him there. So this is very similar to our other, other farm, but we're going to make it... A lot more chaotic, I think. So, yeah. But yeah, like I said earlier, making that farm was just so much fun. So I'm really glad I'm doing something similar again. You know what? I think we should actually get some of the weapons out already. So this is the shotgun we have. We only have that one. I think it would be cooler if we had like a double barrel shotgun or something. But I'm pretty sure they don't exist in the workshop, unfortunately. So that's the best we're going to get. Now, of course, these are farmers, so they have to protect their land. Of course, they're going to have weapons. All right, look at that. We got our first farmer in there with his shotgun he's ready to destroy some zombies now the zombies are going to be all kinds of different zombie people because they've come from the city from the safe zone over there from the lab so unfortunately for the farm guys they're going to be in a bit of trouble because there's a lot of people coming their way all right we're going to give this guy a pistol 
He's going to be crouching down. And he's going to be aiming at the zombies. Oh, that's cool. There we go. Oh, that looks awesome. Yes, I love it. But what he doesn't know, that there's a zombie pig right behind him. Behind you. <laughs> Bye, piggy. <laughs> there we go. Just looking up, it just looks so cool, this world. So you can see the city over there. You can see all the jets flying in. And you can even see a zombie on the tip of that jet. Let's go check it out. Here he is, zombie grandpa <laughs> on the end of the jet. Poor guy. Now, this was actually a suggestion I got. So remember, if you do have any suggestions that you want me to do on this game, let me know in the comment section. And hopefully, in a future episode, I'll get around to doing it. I'm always checking out old comments and everything. So, yes. Let me know your ideas, and you could be featured in the next episode. We need some more zombies. Yes. This guy, he's going to actually be hitting a zombie on the head with like a baseball bat or something. Just trying to figure out what I want him to uh, get hit with. So here's the zombie here. There we go. Clean hit. Good job. What about a guitar? No. A giant axe. No, that doesn't work either. Or maybe a chain sword. Yes. Okay, no, let's not, let's not do that. All right, you know what? Yeah, just a, a a normal baseball bat, I think, would do. Yeah, looks pretty good. I like that. What if the farmers were prepared for this moment and they had spikes along the fences for added protection? Look at that. That's cool. Oh, it's even in there as well. All right, let's just do it. Oh, okay. Well, you can see what I've used. I used a, a giant plank with uh, the nails sticking out. And I think it works out. Only just about, though. All right, there we go. Kind of a... Oh, oh no. That's gone wrong. Why is this cow flying? Stop flying, cow. There we go. We have the spikes. I think we need some more defenses, though. So we'll try and figure out some more stuff to add. All right, so I've had an idea. Basically, what the farmers have decided to do, instead of having a fence like this, they've made it like that. That way, it kind of stopped the zombies from uh, reaching them, but I guess it's not doing the best job. So if we go around like that... Looks pretty good. We did the same in the uh, safe side. Let me just quickly show you what I mean. So this is what we did in the previous episode. Feel free to check it out. But basically, I added these kind of fences and then tilted them like that. These got spikes on them. And as you can see, zombies are getting caught on them. So I'm basically doing the same over here at the farm. It's going to be their little uh, line of defense, I guess. Although it's not going to be very useful. And we might even have one tipped over where the zombies are breaking through. There we go. Look how cool that looks. That's pretty awesome. So, they put up a fence, and, well, it's kind of failing. More zombies. Yes, prisoner zombies from the lab. And, of course, the prison itself. Okay, we have a little well round the corner here. I think it would be pretty cool if we had a zombie that had fallen in and is trying to get out. I don't know how he fell into the well. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh, yes, of course, we have to have a sheriff. Now, what can we do with this guy? I think maybe we should oh, probably give him a gun. Uh, let's see. I reckon a an M9 might actually be suited for this guy. There we go. We've added the sheriff. So we're going to have some more zombies coming from this way as well. Zombie, old lady. The fence is not going to stop her. It's a pretty pathetic <laughs> fence, let's be honest here. We're going to have some crawler zombies crawling through the corn which would be absolutely terrifying to come across so he's going to be crawling along like this he's probably just come from the lab as well since he's a, uh, a scientist zombie there we go oh yeah it's creepy i like it oh yes this scene is looking pretty good so we've got a bunch of zombies in now i'm going to carry on adding some more and probably some more farmers to defend the actual farm but yeah at the moment i'm just adding detail as you can see some people are actually getting caught in the fences I think we should have probably some more like dead zombies scattered around would be pretty cool. Make it a little bit more realistic because those guys are of course shooting the zombies. I think it's time we add the toilet scene. <laughs> so maybe someone could be locked inside and there are people or zombies trying to get in. There we go. The zombies know someone has gone for a poo and now they want to eat whoever's inside. Yes, the scene is looking awesome. Just while I'm adding some more zombies, if you guys do want to keep up with the Tiny Town VR videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on, and also drop a like on this video if you enjoy it. Like I said, I will be posting more Tiny Town very soon. So if you do subscribe, that way you won't miss out. So many zombies. Firefighter zombies as well. All right, you know what I think it's time for? It's time we add the old man. Of course, it has to happen in every single episode. We always have an old man hanging 
from somewhere or he's got himself in a position where no one knows how he got there. So that's what we're going to do. In fact, we should probably add some soldiers as well. I might do that in a minute. Uh, let's see. Where's where's Grandpa? There he is. <laughs> we got... Oh, where'd he go? I'm thinking, what if we just have him dangling from, like, the barn like this? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I might just do that. I don't think we're ever going to find out how the old man gets himself into these situations. But yeah. So, there we go. Old man hanging from the barn. Ah, help me! Huh. All right, so there you go. Uh, let's see. Right, so I've added a bunch of detail. We've got loads of zombies, and it's looking absolutely awesome. So let me show you around a little bit. We've got the main scene here. This is kind of where I want to take the picture, I'm thinking. So have it something like this. That way we have the zombies in the background, all the farmers, and everyone trying to defend the place. And I just think it's going to look really good, like a really nice shot like that. Something like that anyway. But we'll, uh, we'll work on the scene a little bit more. Make it a bit more epic, and then we can take the final screenshot, and it's going to look really cool. As you can see, we've got this farmer girl here. She's chainsawing the scientist zombie, and it just looks epic. All the farmers, they're trying their best to defend the farm. We've got a couple of dead zombies lying around. I might actually add some more. What if there was someone actually who was trying to burgle the farmhouse, but the zombie apocalypse is going on, and he's escaping through the chimney? And now he's just really confused. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. So as you can see, I've also added luggage here as well because I guess they were planning to get off the farm and get away. But, well, the zombies have overrun them by now. So unfortunately, there's not much they can do. They've just got to do their best to defend it. Let's have zombie soldiers or zombie police riot guys. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look how creepy this is. We got a zombie clown. Coming from the forest. That would not be a very nice sight to see. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Looking pretty good. Scary stuff. Front entrance is looking pretty nice now. I've actually added the ranch thing, which I think is a nice little touch. The fence here is broken. I guess, I don't know, the car crashed in, flipped over, and that's how it's like that. As for that one, I have no idea. But it looks pretty good. I added these little... <laughs> spikes i mean they don't really work in there although that zombie got caught on it but yeah check it out it looks amazing uh we have so many zombies here and i really like the fact how the trees are all around it looks really good all right this is awesome i love this scene so much it looks so good um might add a bit more detail around here let's see just do like bits on the floor where it's just a mess i guess all right do you know what i think we are just about finished with this farm scene i am incredibly happy with the way it came out let me just show you everything we've done today we'll start from the entrance uh so of course i added a bit of hills around from the actual lab and this is the main entrance here the ranch we got some cows here they're still alive somehow i don't know i guess the zombies just don't fancy cow meat they just want a bit of human flesh and then we have all the zombies coming in from the entrance point a crawler zombie Oh, I can't grab it. There we go. You know, what? another thing I love about this game is people that lie down. You can make a huge stack of them like this. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness. That is crazy. That is so cool though. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got to get rid of them now. Ready? All right. Sorted. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So let's carry on with the tour. So of course, I've got lots of little details just laying on the ground make it look like a complete mess because of course it will be messy since the zombies are invading and attacking at the end of the day this is the zombie apocalypse this poor fella he is well he's being attacked by the zombies right now he's all on his own he's got to try and defend himself all he's got is a little pipe there uh, of course, we got the old man. Hello, old man. How are you doing? Please help me. So, yeah, you'll notice there's just like quite a lot of small details lying around. I'm actually quite a big fan of the fence going around. So, you can clearly see where they've put it in a defensive position instead of it just being straight up like that. By having it on its side, that way it digs into the zombies and it stops them from getting in. Although, it hasn't done a great job. They're just being overrun by zombies, so it's almost impossible to stop them from actually breaching this zombie. Even though, I'm pretty sure this zombie is dead <laughs> on the spikes, but, you know, he's got to make sure you got to hit him in the head. That's what you got to do with zombies anyway. Over here, we have the main scene where everyone is defending the farm. So you can already see the, uh, the difference. There's actually less detail, and I think that's because 
I was working with a bigger space, so it was a little bit hard to compact all the detail in. And that's why I wanted to remake it over there. Well, not remake it, but do another farm. Because, of course, there's not just going to be one farm. There's going to be many farms in this world. So I might even do another farm after this. Who knows? But on this actual, like, windmill thing, I actually have a uh, little girl trying to escape from the zombies down here, as you can see. So, yeah. Don't really want to do that again in that scene. But they are very similar. Don't get me wrong. I just prefer the other one, I reckon. And we even have an old lady shooting an RPG in this one, which is uh, fantastic. So let's move over. Let's go back. So yeah, check it out. I really like this. It's all focused on like one area and it's just, I don't know, so much more detail to be added and looks good. And I probably will add some more detail very soon. So don't worry, this is not the end of this farm. In fact, this entire world could do with some more detail. So I will be adding more to it. So of course, I'll be making more episodes and uh, I'll probably do like detail off camera. So like patches where it's very plain and boring, like, you know, just off camera. Just doing little bits here and there. But for the most part, anything like this, I will be recording and uploading for you guys to see. But yes, on that note, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end this Tiny Town VR video right here. Let's add a mega zombie. Like a really mega zombie. Oh my goodness. He can literally just eat the whole farm. Hey buddy, can we make him bigger? Oh my goodness. That's just ridiculous. All right, well, uh, yes. <laughs> Back to ending the video. Goodbye. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Of course, let me know if you did by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. I'll leave a link for both in the description below, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.